Hey guys, Coach Onley here. I'm the eSports head coach at Ottawa University, and today I'm gonna to be discussing, can you use a mouse and keyboard or a controller for eSports? Um, so this is a really, really popular question that I get, and I wasn't planning on making a video about it this week, but uh, I figured I might as well just do a double upload today. So uh, this video is going out first, and then later today I will be discussing how you can make money in gaming. So, um, so yeah, so this question's pretty uh, hotly debated on my videos and stuff. So I'm just going to break it down as far as every single major game that you guys mention and how it's played professionally and why that's important. And don't worry guys, if I mention a game is played on mouse and keyboard or controller and you play the opposite, it doesn't mean you can't play it, but watch till the end and I'll explain why it's important. So, so here's the list. Overwatch is played on PC, played on mouse and keyboard. League of Legends, played on PC, played on mouse and keyboard. Rainbow Six Siege, played on PC, played on mouse and keyboard. Rocket League is tricky, it's played on PC, but you can use whatever controller you like. So you can use an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, um, which also means if you cannot afford a PC right now or if you don't have one, practicing on console is okay for Rocket League. You can still do that and still grind. Just competitively, when you actually show up to events and stuff like that, um, for the most part, they're going to require you to have a Steam account to play. Um, so it is played on PC, but no one uses a mouse and keyboard. It's, uh, it's, you use the controller that you want to use. Call of Duty is professionally played on PlayStation 4, which means you use a PlayStation 4 controller, not a mouse and keyboard. Fortnite is played professionally on a PC. However, this one is a rare exception where the overwhelming majority of professionals use mouse and keyboard. However, you can use a controller in competitions. There's nothing that bans you, as far as I know, from using a controller in a competition for Fortnite. However, the skill gap is usually much, much higher, uh, meaning it takes a lot more time, work, and effort to get good with a controller on PC than it does mouse and keyboard. So you can go professional at Fortnite with a controller, but you're making it a lot more difficult on yourself for the most part um, versus learning a mouse and keyboard early on and uh, developing your skills that way. Uh, Fortnite is a pretty technical game as far as uh, you have the, the building aspect and the, the decisions per minute aspect of it, and then you also have the aim aspect. It's unique in, it, in the sense that it takes a lot of skill in both of those categories uh, to be really successful at it. Most esports, it's one or the other. Uh, Fortnite is both, and those decisions are made a lot quicker on a keyboard most of the time. So here's why it's important, guys. If you want to go professional at an esport, if you want to play it at the highest level, if you want to compete in tournaments and make a lot of money playing that game, you need to replicate what the professionals do. I'll take a game like Call of Duty, for example. If you want to earn pro points, you have to use the PS4 ladders and the PS4 playoffs on game battles. In order to get truly competitive and get to the point where you can, you know, go to college and play at the top level in whatever game you choose, try to get drafted, anything like that. Or if you just want to find better competitors to play against or to scrim against or to find really good teammates, all of that is done mimicking what the professional scene does. So if you are an Overwatch player and you want to find better teammates, find good scrims and, and you know use each other to get better, the competitive scrims, the competitive discords, all of that stuff is going to be played on PC, which is why you need to make the switch. If you do not care about going pro, if you never want to go pro, if you don't think you're good enough to go pro, if you don't want to go to college for esports, if you just like playing video games for fun, this doesn't apply to you. Do what makes you happy. The video games at the end of the day are supposed to make you happy, to give you a, a little stress relief, a little break from life, a, a hobby, whatever you use video games for, that's, what they're, that's why they're here. So if you're not a truly hardcore competitive player, I don't care if you play Overwatch on, on Xbox. If it's fun, it's fun, you know? Um, this is just for the competitive players who are reaching out to me and wanting to start taking esports more serious. You cannot take esports serious if you're not playing the way the professionals do. That's just how it works. 
I hope this video makes sense. Later today I will be talking about how to make money in esports, but this is actually a really good precursor to that because you want to be on the platform where the professionals play in order to compete in the tournaments that can make you a lot of money. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you later in today's video.